Hey, good morning, guys. It's uh, Jason here, one of the pro traders over at TrueTrader.net. Uh, former market maker, been around the business since the early 90s. As everybody knows me as a goose over in the chat room. Um, I plan to do these every week, so I'm sorry about this one being a little bit late. You're going to get the unedited version here um, <laughs> because I'm putting it out this morning and it's a little bit late to do, but I did want to get you something regarding my ideas. Um, if you guys are liking what we're putting out, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to see. We're going to start possibly doing some uh, YouTube live stuff, so you'll want to be uh, subscribed to YouTube to make sure when you get the alerts when those come out. And leave comments as well. So I'm going to try to rifle through this one pretty fast. It's already 8 o'clock on... Uh, on Thursday, Thursday morning. So let's see what we could do. Um, big shout out always to Ricky. He's putting out the Sunday prep. Make sure you guys uh, also tune in to him and Kim on Thursday nights. I think it's every other Thursday. Um, method and mindset. So he's got a lot going on as well. So make sure you guys are tuning in and make sure you guys are subscribed to uh, get alerts for when we're putting out content. Okay, guys. With that being said, let me jump into the all important disclaimer. True Trader nor its representatives are not registered as a security broker dealer or investment advisor with the SEC or any state regulatory authorities, not licensed or qualified to provide investment advice. Guys, I'm not a licensed broker. I'm not here to give you investment advice. It's 100% for entertainment purposes only. Please, you know, understand that, okay? Let's talk about the markets briefly. Um, you know, you know, yesterday, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of felt like it was a down 400 points and you, you end up looking at it and you know, things aren't really dropping like I, I think they should have. Um, with that being said, when days like that happen, I kind of feel like that's followed up within an, a couple days, maybe with a red day. So I'm hoping for that. We've had a big move. This is the SPY that you're looking at right here. Had a big move from this level support that we talked about the last couple weeks. Um, it's moved all the way up. It's reclaimed the 50-day here. I'd love to see it pull back somewhere in here, these prior highs, you know, and, and do a little bit of a pullback before we have some continuation and we start forming that uh that, that pattern of just uh, the, you know buying the dips off the 50 day um, that it was doing before so we'll see how that plays out the queues queues you know are also uh, you know really struggling to pull back here um, it doesn't mean just because I, th I want a dip and just because I you know I think that we, the market should have a dip it doesn't mean that we're going to get a dip um, we'll see how it all plays out guys um, you know you know I don't have a crystal ball with it but I do feel like we do deserve a little bit of a, a, a market pull down into this 50-day area. We'll see what happens or see if the market just wants to uh, um, keep pressing forward. But anyway, I want to jump into the ideas because it is early and I want to uh, just throw out some stuff at you. Financials got beat up yesterday pretty good. As you can see, I pulled up Capital One and one of the first things I saw in Capital One, this is COF, guys. I'll make sure I'll give you the clear entries because it's not going to be edited. So I'll make sure I repeat it a couple times. This is COF, Capital One. And I'm looking for a long off 148. Once I pulled up Capital One, I also, you know, I'll, I'll show you another one I didn't put on my list, but also looked intriguing as well. Um, but a couple of the financials. But you can see down here at this 148 area, this is the 200 day. Let me zoom it back out a little bit. Let me scale it and then zoom out here. There you can see. This is the 200 day, this, two, this, this tan line. You got this prior support over here and you got a quarterly pivot. So I, I put down 148 watching a long off COF 148 there. We'll see if it wants to bounce there. Next one I'm looking at is GPRE, Golf, Papa, Romeo, Eddie. Um, we're looking at 3370 is what I wrote down on GPRE. Um, let me zoom it in a little bit. It's just above this area right here. That you got a quarterly pivot at 3389. You got the 126 day up here. You got also a, uh, a annual pivot. Let's see if it does one more drop in this level. And you also have this support area. So I have GPRE watching for a possible long off 3370. All right, moving right along. Hopefully this isn't as choppy, guys. I'm getting a new computer, by the way, so it should fix all that chop that's been going on with my uh, PC. If that's been, uh, if you guys have noticed that, but um, hopefully it's not acting up too bad today. I can't tell when I'm filming it. It looks fine with me. All right, let's go. Uh, MTCH is next one. Match.com. I wrote down a long off 153.30. Uh, again, this is another one. It came in heavy, closed on lows. I'm hoping for another wash. It's already at 158 pre-market. 153.30 is right between this quarterly pivot and the 50-day. That's where I put it. Um, this Don't ignore this uh, line right here. This orange line is an alert I set for it to go off when it uh, um, it actually alerts the room when, when the things are, are set up. So if you're a member, you already know that. But if you're not, uh, um, it'll put an alert out in the goose room when it starts approaching my morning report level. So there you go. Um, so that's on match. Again, repeating match, 153.30, watching for a long. Let's go into TDOC, TDOC. Hang on a sec. Let me close this out. 
So T-Doc's getting hit this morning. Um, it's down at 132.45. I wrote down two trades on it. I'm watching a long off the 130 area. Uh, 130 was up in, hang on a second. It, it, it was right off this whole number here is where I put it, the whole number. Okay, I use it. This is a, this is a, one of those rare ones where I think that, the, you know, that this one is... Uh, might might bounce off the whole number at 130. You could see that held uh, this area last time. You know this is where prior prior resists where kind of the move started happening. Um, but on T Doc, um, I'm watching the long off 130. I think I'm more interested in the short if it gets up to 138.60. 138.60 happens to be a G2C type play, which is up in the prior close. Uh, just below that, you got a 50 day. I think it's going to have a lot of struggle getting up in this 137, 138. So I wrote a long off 130.05 and a possible short off 138.60. All right, and that's on TDoc. So eBay, these are all earnings type type plays now. I'm I'm into EBAY. That's eBay. EBAY. I wrote a long off 6910. Uh, let me visit that one first. 6910. You can see is this 126 in the support area from before. So that's where I have the alert right now. It's at 73 pre market right up in here. Uh, so I want to flush down into 6910. Where I'm looking for a short in the 7660. 7660 once again is right up into this. Uh, it, it's actually below um, the previous close. I have it right into this quarterly pivot. Again, this is this made a pretty good move up into earnings. Um, I think this is going to have a lot of trouble getting back up to the previous close. So I went a little bit lower than that, 7660, uh, which is at the quarterly pivot there, and that's on eBay for a short. Okay, let's move along. I do say okay a lot, don't I? Huh. All right, let's keep rolling. Hope you guys respond to me. Okay. Upwork, UPWK. That's UPWK. Um, 46, 46.95 is what I wrote down on you, you, uh, UPWK. That's right off this monthly pivot, okay? It's at 51. Um, I wrote down 46.95 right off the monthly pivot right here. Um, as far as a long and as a short, I wrote 5450. Um, 5450 is right up into the 20 day and this previous day's low. That's on Upwork, okay? UPWK. So I have a long on UPWK, 4695, and a short at 5450. Let's go to Lending Club, symbol LC, Larry Charlie. And all I wrote down on this one was I wanted to watch a, sh a long off this. This is having a big gap up on earnings. Um, it's already up at 41. What I would like to see is, and not saying it's going to happen, but I wrote down 36.10 if it does some sort of flush in the morning. I'm um, down at this previous high, and you got a quarterly and monthly pivot right there. So right off this level, that's what I'm looking for. 36.10 is a possible long on LC. All right. Uh, next one is going to be Bud Wiser, B U D symbol B U D. I have a long of 58.20. It's trading at 62 almost uh, pre-market. 58.20, you got a monthly pivot down here. And also you have the 50 day just below it. So I picked right between this monthly pivot. Let me zoom it in a little bit. There's a monthly pivot and the 50 day is a purple line. <coughs> so anyway, I picked a long off 58.20 or a short off 64.60. You could see it all, all up in here, guys. You got, a, you got a 200 day, you got a 126 day, you got some pivots, but I actually use this monthly pivot right here just below it. Keep in mind, this has a less than a dollar ATR. This has a huge gap up. I've looked at the other gaps. They're usually the big ones are four bucks or so. Um, I think this will give some back, even though the uh, the numbers were really impressive on BUD, um, in my opinion. Um, I think this is going to give back some of that gap. So I'll look for a short on BUD, guys. Um, so that's Bud Weiser. Um, next one, two more left, guys. And then we'll be done with this. SNBR Sandbar Sleep Number. Um, Sam, Nancy, Bravo, Romeo. Um, I broke down a long off 9080. Okay, 9080. 9080 is right off this 20 day. Okay, I'm not sure it's going to get there. Um, previous closes are down at 88.95, but I'll see what happens off this 9080 this 20 day. See if it does a little bit of a pull. That's a decent retrace from the morning move. Um, then the other thing is I wrote down a short off the century mark 99.90. Okay, I know that the, the 126 is a little bit above that, and you got the monthly up here. So you don't really see anything there. I'm telling you from just experience. Those psychological numbers happen to be big. So I wrote down a short off 99.90. I think it might give a quick trade. I'll watch it there. So again, uh, uh, sleep number SNBR, long off 90.80, and then a short off 
All right, last one, guys. PAG, they reported, I think it was yesterday or the night before, had a nice drop yesterday. I love when it's starting to set up here. I wrote down off 100 spot, 5-0, which is this support area, as you can see. Um, I, also, the century mark just above it. Um, I think this is going to give a nice bounce off there. I, I, I like this chart. It's been a really, really strong name. Um, we'll see what happens. But I wrote down PAG, Papa Alpha Golf, at uh, 100 spot, 5-0 for a long. All right? So that's it, guys. I, I just want to you know get you this out. Sorry it's a little bit different this week. I know was, I kept this down to 10 minutes so you could watch it real quick and at least see what I'm looking at this morning. Um, but other than that, make sure you guys are subscribing. Make sure you guys are commenting. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button and, and tune in and, and hope, come check us out, please, over at truetrader.net. I think you'll be really impressed with what you see there. Thank you, guys. You guys all have a great morning. Have a great uh, trading day today.